Okay, on today's How To Tuesday, we're going to be looking at the Ping ultrasonic sensor. It's a really cool sensor for measuring distance. It only requires three pins, a signal, ground, and five volts. You can use it on a whole bunch of different microcontrollers, but today we're going to be hooking it up to my favorite, the Arduino. Alright, so let's get started hooking this up. I'm going to be using an Arduino Due Milanove with a ProtoShield. Both of these are available in the Maker Shed. The ProtoShield just makes it really easy because it has a breadboard and a whole bunch of extra pins here. You could easily use an Arduino Mega or a Borduino. You could use a ZB1 and even add some wireless. Um, any Arduino will do, even a little Nano. So let's get started. First thing to note is on the PCB of the sensor, it's labeled ground, 5 volt, and signal. And hopefully you're a little familiar with the Arduino. If you're not, you can check out some of my other how-tos. Um, but basically, we only need three wires to hook this whole thing up. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on this side of the breadboard. And if you look at it, the leftmost pin is the ground, which from the back is the rightmost pin. So I'm going to use these little jumper wires, and I'm going to plug it in there and put it into the ground rail on the proto shield. That was simple. Next one, if we look at the front here, is the 5 volt. So from the back, we're going to plug in another little jumper. And on the proto shield, you have a 5 volt rail right here. So you can plug it into any one of those. So now we have power and ground. Now all we need to do is add the signal wire. And the signal wire is the last pin from the front, it's on the right, from the back, obviously it's on the left, and that we're going to plug into digital pin 7. Why 7? Because on the Arduino website, there's some sample code for using the ping sensor, and they use pin 7. You could use any of the digital pins you want, doesn't really matter. That's it. Now all we have to do is hook it up to the computer and upload some code. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so I have my computer set up. Let's plug the Arduino into a free USB port. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go on Makershed.com and do a search for Ping. And here we go. A little more information about it. I'm going to click the How To tab and then download the data sheet. Here's the data sheet. It's a PDF and it shows you a lot more information about the Ping ultrasonic sensor. It includes the dimensions and then it goes over how to use it and even some troubleshooting uh, tips and a lot of other information. Go ahead and take a look at it. It's really useful. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Arduino website. And let's do a search for ping. And the first thing that comes up is some sample code. It shows you how to wire it up, which we already did, and it gives you some code to try out. So let's go ahead and just highlight the code, copy it, Go over to our Arduino environment, paste it in, and before you do anything, just make sure you have the serial port selected properly and the type of board you're using. And I'm using a Due Milanove with the 18 Mega 168 chip. And let's hit upload and see what happens. Tells you here uploading to IO board. Okay, it's done uploading. It tells you how big this sketch was. And now all you have to do is open up the serial monitor. It's at 9600 baud. And you can see it's already giving me some feedback on the sensor. And what's happening is the ultrasonic sensor is sending out a ping, which is uh, an ultrasonic sound, and it's listening for the echo. And the Arduino is measuring the amount of time it took to receive that echo. And that time, through some simple math, it can calculate the distance from the ultrasonic sensor. Really useful on robots. Um, it can be useful for motion detectors, alarm systems, just a whole bunch of fun stuff. Anyway, I'm not going to go over the code on this one because the code from the Arduino website is really well commented. You'll be able to uh, figure most of it out. And if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments. We'll see you next week.